I'm gonna make my chicken sausage with you guys. I'm actually gonna put it in a meal prep container so I could show you how I would do it for meal prep. And then I have a bunch of stuff to cut up. So I'm gonna do all that and kind of show you guys how I would separate it. Put the chicken apple sausage in air fryer and I put it in there for five minutes on 400. Next, I'm gonna do the celery. So let's do like five pieces of celery. Okay, put it in the container. All right, next I'm gonna do a couple of carrots. So I'm just gonna shave them up and then I think I'm just gonna cut them in half so that, they, so that they'll fit in the container. All right, now I'm gonna cut off the ends and then let's do them in half because the ends are always just a little bit funky. Okay, let's see, I might have to do like thirds. So let's do like that, one for this one. three for this one and we'll do another one the cauliflower i'm just going to cut it in half and then i'm going to get this stem out of the middle on both sides okay and then i'm just going to put like two pieces like that okay we're going to do bagged broccoli because every time you keep getting the whole broccoli i have to throw it out because there's so many bugs in it so I'm just like, no, I've had good luck with this, so I'm just gonna stick with this. Just do a little few of each, like that. I still have like double of everything left. All right, same with the sugar snack peas. I don't think they come not in a bag, so I'm just gonna do like three or five. Five like that, whatever, just like a good handful. And then I'm gonna do maybe two strawberries for each one just because i'm also gonna do some grapes so we have three that we're making so we'll do six strawberries so i'm gonna cut the ends off i did wash them but then after i took off the stems i feel like there's just like stuff everywhere i don't think strawberries always taste good when they're like meal prepped but it's just gonna have to do this time because that's just what we're doing all right, so we're gonna put two, two, and two, and then we have some green grapes. So I'm just gonna do like three green grapes. Like that. Okay. These are the containers that I'm gonna use for cottage cheese. They're four ounces. I don't feel like it's gonna be enough, but it's just gonna be what it's gonna have to be because this is just what's gonna fit nicely so and then i don't know if the cottage cheese weighs out also at four ounces because it was dressing but this is a little bit more of voluminous than dressing so let's do that and now we're going to put some mustard at the top of each one like that and then i'm going to put the lid on even though i'm right about to eat one it's for demonstration purposes okay we're going to try to fit this little guy. Oh, he fits perfectly right in there with the fruits. Nice and hefty. This is probably what you guys were talking about when you're like, can we get these pre-made so we can just pop in the store and grab them and then let me get my chicken sausage. So if you have an air fryer at work, I would just put them in cold on top of the vegetables. Um, and then you can either put an air fryer at work or you just want to meal prep it to have it in your fridge for your house for accountability like you already have something made that's fine too here's my cooked one for today let's see how this fits with the lid if it's it's so cute it's like a tiffany lunch box and then you can do a meal prep you can actually make a bunch of these beforehand i got a case of these on amazon not with the white but just like with a silver lid um and you can meal prep these and have them ready um but yeah i'll do two scoops this is a new flavor it's cherry passion fruit we have so many new flavors coming through right now but this is cherry passion fruit so if you are a cherry passion fruit fan this is for you and we put more beetroot to make it a little bit more pink than the watermelon so there we go and for a snack i would do one of these chobani zero sugar this is greek yogurt milk and cookies and this is a no sugar i'm pretty sure grain free uh, it's made with like nuts and seeds and i would do like a little container of this okay here's this cute little baby food container that i got from 
Walmart a little while ago. So I would just do, I don't know what this is gonna measure out, maybe a fourth a cup. So it'd be less than a full serving for that. Squish it all together and there you go. There is your healthy meal prepped, beautiful lunch. I think it should stay good um, with the cold sausage in there, but I haven't tried it. I'm gonna have these two for the fridge for me tomorrow and the next day and I will let you guys know. I have my meal prepped chicken apple sausage um, with cottage cheese and mustard and then I'm making my little cup of cherry passion fruit electrolytes. So I have sugar snap peas, broccoli, carrots. I did add a couple of hearts of palm in here. Um, cauliflower, there's some sugar snap peas, strawberries, and then these are like some grapes down here. Unzip. I guess that's the new term we're using for the little sound. Unzipping my electrolytes. Mm. Oh, I hate when the powder gets underneath your nails. It's like the worst feeling. I'm feeling one scoop, so we're just going to do one scoop cherry passion fruit, new flavor. Who does? We had a work meeting today. That's just what I need today. Just one scoop. We had a work meeting, so we went out to eat. And then um, I just had this in the fridge. So I was like, okay, they can have their dessert chicken. And then I have my chicken apple sausage with mustard. I still cannot open my throat. Open my throat, my god. From my strep throat. It's just the worst thing. I'm like six days into my antibiotics. Third set. Yawning. Swallowing is okay. It's not the worst, but yawning. I'm opening my jaw. Not fun. Strawberry didn't survive well overnight. This one did okay. Hmm. I love a good strawberry. And a grape. 